So Sculpture in the Garden is our most ambitious exhibition that we've um, installed in the gallery. It aims to bring the outside in, in terms of a full-scale garden in a gallery. So the design for the garden really sort of came about through marrying up both the sculptors that we work with on a regular basis and knowing their work uh, inside out, but also leading the viewer on a journey. So through three different areas, through a woodland, into a more formal garden, and then ending with a walled garden. And then obviously taking the viewer out onto the sculpture trail, which leads around King's Place and out onto the canal side. This garden is quite an extreme project. We had five tons of wood chip delivered, um, five tons of uh, soil, an awful lot of log roll, and also our very large sculptures as well. Sculpture has been in a garden environment since antiquity. There's evidence, obviously, from Pompeii and Herculaneum, many other examples of sculpture being seen in an outdoor environment even if it's legendary, like the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. And that's really one of sculpture's strengths, is to be seen outdoors and to be enjoyed uh, in the landscape, different light conditions, different weathers, different seasons. And that's what we've tried to bring here. Well, nowhere else in London can you see this range of artists in this kind of setting. I've tried to select a real range of established and emerging artists, both working in uh, figurative styles and abstract. We've got very established artists such as Lynn Chadwick, Royal Academicians such as Anne Christopher, William Tucker and Peter Randall Page and we've also got emerging sculptures and even a water sculpture by William Pye. Well we really feel the exhibition is a unique opportunity to come and see such a range of sculpture in such an unusual environment and uh, we've got the watering cans at the ready and we really look forward to showing you around the exhibition.